Hello, hello. We're here. We're excited to be here. It's been a long time since we've talked, and it is launch day. We're here. Get Plucked is finally here um, at long last. I know y'all have been patient, and we really appreciate it, but we're excited to be talking to you today um, about Get Plucked. Um, hope you enjoyed that trailer. Um, that's a fun one. Hopefully, you can see now why all of the um, chickens that we dropped were in cartridges. Hopefully, it's all starting to make sense. Um, all right, yeah, without uh, further introduction, let's um, start with introductions. Um, I am Kobe Wan Kenobi. I am the product lead on Vox, and we have got um, two wonderful guests with us today. Um, we have Paso, our marketing manager. Welcome, Paso. Hello, hello. Happy to be here. Finally, we're re releasing the chicken awesome. game, Get Plugged. All of, a lot of chicken content's been out these days, so there we go. Yeah, awesome stuff, man. Awesome stuff. Um, and we also have George, um, our uh, design lead and the uh, brains behind the Get Plucked uh, operation, the idea from which Get Plucked was sprung. Welcome, George. Thank you very much for having me. I feel terrible that I'm just named George and not a cool name like you guys, but I'll roll with it. Um, maybe we'll come up with something throughout the broadcast. But We'll, ha we'll have to. We'll have to. So th th think, think on mm -hmm. it. Um, but yeah, we're so excited um, to be here um, and we're going to just uh, jump right into it. So um, when we had our last AMA, we talked a little bit about this, but I want to double down um, a little bit on why get plucked? Why, why are we doing this? Why are we launching this game? And the main thing uh, that we, we talked about on our last AMA is still the main thing. It's for the community. It's giving back to the community, right? And we started with this, with the actual chicken drop itself. Like we didn't put them on for sale. Like we wanted to reward our holders who have been steadfast in their support of Vox like through the years. And we wanted to reward them with something fun. So we dropped them chickens and we want to give people something to play. Like we understand y'all have Vox Odyssey right now and we wanted to double down and give you something more interactive, more visual to play, something on your phone, something for Android and iPhones. And of course, ways to earn prizes, um, rewards that Vox holders can earn specifically. We'll get in a little more into that um, in a bit, but also that other people can come in and earn prizes. Like this is something that's a, a low barrier of entry, right? This is a mobile game. Anyone can download on their phone and, and we wanna expand the community and we think that this is a small way to do so. So that's one thing. Um, another big reason why we're doing this is this is really almost like laying the foundation of Voxverse. Um, we're building this game, we built this game in Unity. Um, and that's the same uh, game engine that um, Voxverse is being built on. So it's really helping us get our Unity asset pipeline straightened out, making our rigging pipeline straightened out. And this is just like going to make things a lot easier for us in Voxverse. And it also brings these things to the forefront for you, the community, so that you can see these things like the biomes and the assets and different things like that and really um, have the bedrock for, for, for Vox first. Also, this is our first mobile project. Are there more to come? Maybe there are, um, may, maybe there are, um, that, 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 that's all I'll say for now. Um, so yeah, that's, um, a little bit of an introduction. Why get plucked? Um, hope you're excited. Hope you're downloading. Hope you're playing. Um, speaking of playing, let's play, uh, some videos of some gameplay so you can see what it looks like. Ow! 
All right, we got some gameplay in. Hope you enjoyed that. There's a lot more to play. You're gonna have to download for yourself to see the full um, gameplay and see the full aspect. And of course, with your chickens. Um, but yeah, hopefully you um, enjoyed those videos. So we are at launch um, and we are gonna do something special for um, the first two weeks only for box holders specifically, right? We understand, we know that we said that this game was gonna be released in the summer and we just missed the summer. So we had to make up for it um, in the summer. Um, we had to make up for it. How can, how can we reward box holders? How can we do something that people will care about? So we came up with this. There is a weekly leaderboard for um, Get Plucked. Now we wanna do a specific exclusive prize pool only for box holders, only for the first two weeks. So what we're going to be doing is there will be a $5,000 uh, in gala prize pool per week only for box holders. So all of the top 200 players in Get Plucked each week will be in will be winning part of that five thousand dollar prize pool so ten thousand dollars in total for two weeks for box holders only we love you guys we appreciate your support and we want to show um, our appreciation in a big way through this reward um, here um, in the first two weeks of launch so um, that's something special for, for y'all and and um, hope you enjoy it so that's the first two weeks. Another thing I'll say before I pass over to Paso to talk a little bit about the marketing activations, um, I would recommend um, everyone, um, if you haven't already, connect your Web3 wallet um, to your Gala account um, so that you can play with all the chickens that you have in that wallet. So make sure the wallet that you connect to your Gala account is the wallet that you have that actually is holding your chickens. And then if you do that, you'll be able to play with all of your chickens immediately um, and, and get plucked and climb the leaderboard with your different chickens. So um, make sure you do that. Um, and with that, I will go over to Paso and we will talk a little bit more um, about marketing. What's, what's coming up um, over the first two weeks and, and maybe even more. What's going on, Paso? Hello, hello again. So there's a lot of stuff happening on our social media. You've seen a lot of clockers around, but let's start from the chicken race actually. You've been voting who you want to win. You've been given interactions on Twitter on your favorite chicken. But you need to stay tuned up until the end of this, this AMA to figure out who's going to win. Because at the end of this AMA, it's going to go out. So you've been voting throughout the weekend. And we know you want to know. Maybe this is the reason you tuned in. Who knows? But you'll see at the end. And apart from that... We actually have quite a lot of chickens being given away. So if you want to play with a different chicken, you're going to have the possibility by entering one of our giveaways on our socials, on our Discord. You definitely need to turn those notifications on on Twitter and you definitely need to enter on our Discord server and meet our amazing community manager, Vera, because there's, there will be a lot of cool stuff from Vera, there will be a lot of cool stuff from some of our friends. And who knows, you'll meet somebody new. You'll meet some new people to play with or against and climb against the leaderboard and get plucked. But I will close this out with one cool thing. And this thing is actually tournaments. And you may have noticed that I've not said tournament. I've used Plural. Why? Because we're going to have weekly tournaments and we're going to have our friends over from Gala Film, going to have people over from Gala Music. We're going to have people over from your favorite games in Gala Games, as well as some other friends that you might have seen or you maybe will see in our Twitter spaces. And by the way, tune in. Because I will be there and I'll see you and maybe there will be something for you also in the spaces. But we're going to have tournaments with all of our friends. And cherry on top, we're actually going to have an event in which we stream the final leg of the tournament. And we're going to have everything from interviews to the winner to hosts casting the tournament. It's going to be epic. And... Maybe we're going to get plucked, but we'll see. So I'll give it, I'll give the word back to Jonah. Here's to you, Jonah. 
All right. Thanks, Paso. Um, okay, cool. So we talked about the race. We talked about tournaments. There's going to be more social activations, more giveaways. Like, you know, Vera Awesome is going to be holding it down on Discord as well. Um, there, there's going to be a ton of stuff. So keep your eyes peeled. Maybe not just, um, you know, on, on our Discord, on other Discord, you might have seen some things. Um, but yeah, a, a lot is coming. Why did the chicken cross the road? Well, it may sound like a joke to you, but every day thousands of chickens struggle to cross roads, rivers, and rail lines. But you can help. You can help end this senseless. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Good Lord. Ah, oh, it's everywhere. We enjoyed making these trailers so much that we had to make not one, um, but but two. So I, I hope you enjoy um, that 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 one, the the the, 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 the sad chicken um, in the rain. That was a really fun one for us, um, and yeah, ho ho hope you enjoy it. I know some of y'all saw a sneak peek on on socials um, the the other day. Um, but yeah, we, we're, we're going to want to be churning out more of that content. Um, and uh, yeah, hope, hope you're enjoying like that kind of content because there definitely is more to come on that. All right, let's keep running here. No, I can't just say, but no chickens were harmed in the making of that trailer. <laughs> um, All right, if you say so, if you say so, George. Okay, so, um, all right, we, we, we heard a little bit about marketing. Now let's talk about how this thing all got started. We did a Twitter Spaces um, uh, a little bit ago and we talked about this um, a little bit, but we wanted to kind of double down on this. So we wanted to talk with, with George um, and we wanted, unless he's come up with another name since uh, since, since the beginning of this call, but um, we, we wanted to talk yeah, with Night George. Talk. You did? Nighthawk. Night, Night Nighthawk. Talk. Okay, great. Nighthawk. Thank you. That's awesome. I like mm -hmm. it. All right. So we're going to go to Nighthawk um, and we are going to talk about how Get Plucked came to be. Right, like we want to understand, like how how did this idea come to be? Why 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 did you start creating some chickens? Give us more on that, Nighthawk. Thank you, Kirby One. Well, you touched upon it a bit earlier. You know, Vox was Vox was a, a project that started as something. It's become something so much bigger. It's it's really grown, and. The tools that we used to make the Vox, the Voxel Creator, we didn't know how well this would perform in game. You know, our ultimate aim is to make Vox first. Our aim is to make Vox first. So this is almost like a bit of a, a stepping stone along that path. Um, and we wanted to see, you know, how these assets reacted to a game engine. You know, how well will they handle lighting? How well will they be optimized? Um, that kind of thing. Um, but really, you know, it all started because uh, the art team love making Vox chickens, honestly. Um, it started as a bit of a um, design ex uh, exercise. What's amazing about these characters is they're so tiny and there's only a certain amount of voxels that you can use for these characters. So it's really about learning how to boil down like movie stars or or comic book characters and um, people and char you know things like that into these tiny little things. So that was a lot of fun, a lot of fun actually. Yeah, and um, it, it, it's crazy how like these characters are so simple, right? But if you look at like our collection on uh, on, on Get Plucked on OpenSea, and you can see that. Even these small little chickens, you're able to capture the essence of all of these characters. Like, it's extremely clear, even if you don't look at the incredible names that you have, um, who these characters are. So I just think that that's so impressive and just a testament to the quality of artists that we have on this team. Like, I think art has always been um, Vox's strong suit and continues to be so and is so illustrated um, in, in these chickens. So testament to you, um, George, the or Nighthawk, the artist formerly known as, as, as George. Um, cool. So uh, let's talk about one other thing. So I, I just alluded a little bit to the naming. So tell us how, how'd you come up with the different ideas of like which chickens to create and you know, how to name them? Like, I know it's not an easy task. It's a very hard task. 
very hard task. Uh, it takes a lot of effort. But um, no, when we had these characters, you know, we, we were starting to create our um, our favourite movie characters and that kind of thing. And you just start joking around what they're called. And that was half of the fun of it as well, um, this kind of exploration. Um, and, you know, we started with these generic robot chickens and and started to branch out to these fanat- uh, like fantastical ones. Um, and when it comes to the names, we wanted to avoid the more obvious ones, you know, like everything being Eggenstein or things like that, and really just try and push it, see how clever we could get with these. For example, Princess Leia is one of my favourites. Uh, Robocoop, perhaps one of the more obvious ones, but a lot of fun. Now, this one's a bit odd, and I don't know how many people actually like or even enjoy or get this one, but Bang and Oofston. Um, that one is a terrible stretch, I, I will admit, but one of my favourites. Um, and Saint Benedict. I know we're not here just to go through all the names of the uh, Vox Chickens, unless we are here to go through all the names of the Vox Chickens, because I've got them right here, but <laughs> I think we have to stop at some point. No, that's but. That- Go ahead, Jared. <laughs> but what, what I also enjoy about this is the kind of attitude that we've given the game. And it kind of goes hand in hand with these chickens. You know, the game itself is, you know, a, an endless hopper. And the kind of trailers that you guys have seen, um, the marketing materials is so over the top, like a kind of a juxtaposition between what the actual game is itself and the, the marketing is. And that's been a lot of fun to play around with, really just turning everything up to 11. Um, it's been great. We really have on our Bang and uh, Olufsen speakers, right? We're, we're turning it all up to, to, to 11. No, it's not good that actually, is it? <laughs> no, but the, yeah, I mean, the, the, these chickens are amazing. And I hope that um, the, you, you guys, the community, have been having as much fun with them as, as we have. And, you know, George called out uh, Robocoop, the star of the show, the, the kidnapped chicken, who was not actually, um, not the kidnapped chicken. There was another kidnapping, the murdered chicken, who wasn't actually murdered. Um, I'm getting my crimes confused here. But Princess Lair, all of the um, incredible Vox there. I know Princess Lair was a, fa- a favorite among the, the team and uh, among the community. But Princess Lair um, is an ancient Vox, and like, or an ancient chicken, I should say. And like all of the uh, ancient Get Plucked chickens, those were rewarded entirely to the community. So another testament to you know us. Like th- This is really about the community and rewarding the community. And we tried to lead with our actions um, th- th- this time and, and, and not our words. And we're really following through on that show don't tell uh, methodology that we talked about um, earlier on this year. And uh, yeah, we, we, we tried to do that through that. So um, appreciate it. Uh, Nighthawk, um, you're going to have to change your, your Discord name now to Nighthawk so people know who you are. Um, yeah, um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about um, feathers. So chickens have feathers. I'm going to talk about feathers, which is an aspect of the game that people may or may not be familiar uh, of at this point. So this is a um, progression mechanism. This is an in-game reward system, similar to a lot of games, right, where you receive currency or receive rewards by completing missions. That's what feathers are, right? So you're going to earn feathers by playing Get Plucked, and ultimately those feathers will be used um, to purchase um, chickens, unlock new chickens that you can only unlock by using feathers. Um, Those chickens will have benefits in-game and also eventually in Box First, like the other Get Plucked chickens. So users will earn feathers in two different ways. So one is the weekly leaderboard for the top 20 players of the week, and egg hatching is the other way, which is also scoring game progression. And like I mentioned, the feathers um, will be used to purchase special chickens only unlocked through this progression, right? So leaderboard earning is pretty straightforward. The higher you score on the leaderboard, the more feathers you earn. We talked about the first two weeks we're going to do um, gala prize pool, but the main thing has always been that the reward on uh, the leaderboards will be um, feathers. Um, but let me talk a little bit about um, egg catching, uh, egg hatching, the, the other way you can earn feathers. So the way egg hatching will work is each user will start off the game with a level one egg. And you'll earn points, so which is your score on Get Plucked. Um, and then those points go towards hatching an egg. And when you hatch the egg, you will earn feathers from that egg being hatched. 
every time you hatch an egg, you get a new egg at the next level. So this is also giving us a leveling component to the game alongside this progression currency, right? The higher the egg level, the more points you're going to need to hatch. So you start at level one and you go all the way through. So these are the, 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 the basics here. Um, and yeah, so initial uh, initial launch like, that we're in right now, you'll earn fe feathers by hatching eggs. We talked about the first two weeks, we're doing a special launch event where you can earn um, gala by, by being on the leaderboard. And again, that's exclusive to Vox holders. Um, but uh, feathers were always the thing, right? I, I, I just mentioned this, we wanted to do something special for the Voxer the first two weeks, but feathers are always the prize on the weekly leaderboard. And it should be noted that if you place on the leaderboard, um, you'll earn substantially more feathers than you could earn by actually hatching that egg. So the leaderboard, like we're rewarding people who are good at this game, but we're also giving a progression path to grinders in this game, right? Like if you keep continuing playing, you will eventually earn feathers through hatching these different eggs and completing and going up into the different levels. So that is feathers. All right, so that's a little bit of explanation about the game, maybe something that wasn't in, abundantly clear. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure, like ask you know, more questions in Discord and, and we can uh, answer those um, about Feathers, about Get Plucked, um, about anything. But speaking of questions, um, our lovely Vera Awesome has hooked us up with um, some community questions. So this is an AMA after all. So we are going to um, answer um, a bunch of questions. We're gonna go through as many as we can. Um, we won't be able to get through um, all of them. Uh, but we will be around in Discord to, to answer some questions. Like, as always, we'll hang out after this um, AMA and we will um, answer some questions. But let's um, jump into it. Um, okay, cool. So let me see here. All right, I have got a first question by Moonhei. Do the chickens have lives? Is there more game time to be had with more chickens? So we've been getting a bunch of questions about the chickens and the different chickens and, 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 and the different rarity. And um, we wanted to kind of shed light to this um, and, and give some additional information about each of the chickens. So in terms of having lives, they won't in the beginning um, have lives. That's a concept that we're thinking about, um, but they're not gonna have that at launch. Like we're gonna continue iterating on this game um, throughout. So like the game that you see right now is not gonna be the finished game. We're gonna continue to be adding more features. There's gonna be, you know, Easter eggs for Voxverse, future activations, like those kind of things. And maybe lives will be something like that. Um, so not necessarily more game time, but there will be power-ups specific to the chickens that are coming out. And the higher the rarity, the better the power-up will be. So that is coming soon. And you can see that on the My Collection screen on the app itself. Um, but each of the chickens will have their own special ability, special power-ups. And I know people are asking about that. So just want to be abundantly clear and say that they will. Um, that is coming. That is definitely coming. So thanks, Moonhei, um, for the question. Um, we've got another one. Um, this is a Voxverse question, so we're just ju jumping around here. Um, MC Pizik uh, asked, is Voxverse plan to use only one of your Vox to run around? So um, this is a good question. Um, and the, the answer is no. If you have more than one Vox, you can play with more than one Vox. Um, the thinking right now is you would play with one at one time um, and your uh, other Vox would kind of act almost as NPCs, but that would be controlled by the user if you want there to be offline behavior or not. Um, but yeah, you'd be able to play with all your Vox. If you own multiple Vox and a lot of people do, we know a lot of y'all do, then you'll be able to play with multiple Vox in Vox first. So that's that one. All right, um, Ramaz um, asked a question, what about Trolls 3 in the movies and any perks for Trolls owners? So this is a great question. For those of you that don't know, um, Trolls 3 uh, Band Together is coming out um, in the next few months and we are um, actively in talks with our DreamWorks and NBCU counterparts of what can we do? How can we reward Trolls holders? So we are talking with them right now, just like, okay, can we get some, you know, what are these specific perks going to be related to um, the, the release of this movie in the next few months? So we don't have specifics for you right now, but I can, I can tell you for a fact that we are working on it. And we will get back to you um, as soon as possible um, once we have something confirmed with uh, NBC and, and DreamWorks. So that's that one. Um, all right. Uh, Team Digital is asking, um, speaking of Oxfords, I remember hearing that these companions will be in the playtest. Are they cosmetic or will they gather resources in the upcoming playtest also? So I answered this a little bit um, with regard to like the power up. So like in Get Plucked, they're going to have specific abilities and specific power ups. Um, 
as far as the play test, what we said is if you have a chicken, you'll be able to unlock um, exclusive content that's only available to chicken holders. And that part is still true. Um, in this first um, play test playable experience, um, the chickens won't specifically, um, they're going to help you but they're not going to be characters that you can run around with. I'll, I'll get into this um, in, in, in a little bit. So that's that one. Okay, we've got a question um, from Tofu. <laughs> this is an easy one. Um, will walkers be able to run? Kind of means they're not walkers anymore. Of course, all Vox are gonna be able to run, walk. We've been having a lot of fun with the animation cycles lately of just like, what does a different character look like when they're walking versus when they're running? How, and obviously the, the way that that character is structured is gonna make their gait different when they're walking or when they're running and how fast they can go. So of course, it'll be um, individual and unique to like that specific box. But of course, walkers like all will be able to run. Um, on, on the heels of that question, um, Tofu's asking, will Vox be able to go to the bathroom like in The Sims? So these are questions that we're actively thinking about, um, very actively thinking about, actually having conversations with um, with Will about. Um, we, I, I don't have answers for you on, on that one right now, but we are really getting into that of like, you know, what does this specific series of Vox like? What does that Vox dislike? You know, what are their, you know, what spirituality, religious beliefs do they have? Can they go to the bathroom? Can they breathe? These kind of things. Um, I can say um, one that we've uh, kind of uh, ironed out is they can't breed. Um, they can't breed for now. The, the Vox that we have are the, are the, are the Vox that we have. Um, and if we have future series, those Vox also won't be able to breed. That one I can't answer. Um, but the others, uh, it, it's a good question because those are the kind of things that we're thinking about as we get deeper um, into this game design. All right, let's keep Kobe, we do have in a trailer an orc in the lavatory so for for law reasons i think we have to have oh really pooping vox. okay okay yeah, mm. yeah but i mean what's he really doing in there maybe he's just you know catching a seat reading a, a comic question. book you know yeah. something <laughs> uh anyway all right so we, we talked about the abilities already um Okay, so um, is there any benefit to holding multiple chickens or just a high rarity one? This one comes from um, Voldred. So I'm going to address um, in this question a little bit of chicken utility in um, Voxverse and in the initial playable experience um, also when I'm addressing uh, this. So um, if you have chickens, the way that that's going to function, we talked about them being able to gather resources, right? So it, it's, it's pretty much that of, of what we're actually implementing in Voxverse. So your Vox will function as uh, labor in um, Voxverse, right? The more Vox you have, the more labor, labor you have. And you can think about labor like electricity um, of your like land plot and the area that you're going to build like specifically. The more Vox you have, the more electricity you have. Um, and the more electricity you have, the easier it's going to be to gather your resources and turn them into craftable items. So the chickens are going to give you a buff on that labor, on that electricity. So um, the, the, the more chickens you have, the, the more buffs you have on, on, on more plots. Um, and the higher rarity chickens that you have, the higher your buff will be. So you'll be able to easier and more quickly turn those resources again into craft craftable items. An easy way to explain this is kind of, if you watch Rick and Morty, they're kind of like the, the Google, Google boxes that you're just like tapping to, to get the additional electricity. Um, the chickens will be giving you that additional labor and electricity is just an easy way of explaining it. But back to the question, um, is there any benefit to owning multiple chickens? So we talked about, you know, got to catch them all. I'm um, getting all of the initial um, 49 chickens that, that, that we drop to the community. There will be a benefit there. If you have all of those chickens, no matter what, all of your land plots get boosted um, to the, the highest buff that you possibly can have from a labor perspective. So owning all of those chickens means that you're going to be able to craft a lot more quickly. You're going to be able to turn your resources into craftable items a lot more quickly. And also um, you are going to be labeled the chick magnet is what we've decided internally. You'll be the chick magnet. Um, so there definitely are benefits to owning um, all of those chickens. So we encourage you to, to collect them. Um, yeah, as you see fit. Okay, next question. We've got a bunch here. We're gonna go through a bunch um, because we know it's been a while since our last AMA. Um, Satoshi's Ghost is asking, any idea on how close we are to seeing any of the development for the game? 
we are very close. So before the land rush and the land sale, you're gonna see some, some development, specifically in-game, real um, uh, game development. Um, it's looking awesome and I'm so excited for, for y'all to see. I think we're all really excited to see. I know Nighthawk has been working uh, hard, hard, hard on this stuff and, and we're almost there and we're almost ready. So before the land rush um, experience, you'll see um, game development. In the land rush, you'll see game development. You'll see the map itself, how incredible it looks, really feeling like we've got a, a best-in-class um, map that the team has worked tirelessly on. Um, it's looking awesome and can't wait for y'all to see it. So we're extremely close before the land rush, land rush experience, um, and then there's going to be a playable experience right after on the heels of, of the land rush. Um, Might have been a little bit more of a leak than I should have given, but um, it'll be it. <laughs> All right. Um, this one's for you, Nighthawk. Uh, another one from uh, Tofu. Is Vox first procedural or handcrafted, or is it a bit of both? All of the assets that you'll see, um, we're talking tables, cars, um, vegetation, that's all been handcrafted by our team of uh, artists, just to make sure we have the visual look across everything that we do. Um, when it actually comes to, you know, the land itself, that will be um, procedurally generated. Mm -hmm. um, but all of these tiny beauty elements, everything that you associate with Vox is all done by the same people that make the Vox collections. So that's really exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Some of the best looking hedges I've ever seen. <laughs> The Vox hedges are going to be the best hedges out there. That, that, that's, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, but of course, you know, we're building this huge open world. Some of it's going to have to be procedurally generated. So that's why, you know, George is mentioning that we're going to have uh, some of that procedural generation on the land. Um, but the actual assets themselves, those are going to be, um, of course, uh, those, those are going to be handcrafted. Another question we've got, when 3D printed uh, Vox? So um, we, uh, you might have seen on the Music All Access store that um, we listed a 3D printed box, um, and that's a box. Uh, it, it's a it's a Townstar box. It's the the Nuclear Engineer box, and that was the very first 3D printed box. So 3D printed box are here. Um, if there's aptitude aptitude for it, appetite for it, I should say, um, we want to do something where um, people are going to be able to print their own box. Like that's where we we want to get to. We, we're, we're thinking about doing this um, where uh, you, you can choose to, to print your own Vox um, and there, there's going to be a way to do that likely through the all access store but tell us in discord is this something you want I know we've talked about 3d printed Vox um, we've done bucks right you can buy bucks bucks but we, we think that y'all want to buy your own uh, uh, box um, as a 3d print so um, tell us in discord if you're if you're feeling that and and we can make it happen um, hopefully uh, sooner than later Okay, let's keep going. We are almost um, done here. I think we're going to do um, two more. So we've got one from Zeta. Uh, will there be an ability uh, to terraform things such as mountains in Voxverse? So um, we are carefully crafting the map to look as varied and incredible as possible. And there are mountains um, in, in Voxverse. Um, and you'll be able to terraform in that you'll be able to you know, change the way that things look on your land plot specifically. But as far as moving mountains, at least initially, that might be a little bit of a stretch for, for what we've had planned um, here um, for now. But on, on your land plots, um, you'll have a lot of control of what you can do, what you can put there, how you can build on that. Um, so I hope that, uh, that that answers the question, Zeta. All right, last one um, for now um, from Boldred. Um, will guilds be a thing in Voxverse? So we are actively having conversations about this and talking with Will about this. How can we make, um, how, how can we set Voxverse up in a way um, for guilds? Like we understand like across Gala, across all of our ecosystem, across all of our games, um, how many guilds there are and the importance of those guilds. Um, so absolutely there will be, guilds will be a thing in Voxverse. We're still figuring out the specifics, but there it will be a thing in Vox first, um, and you will be able to, to do things with your guilds. And um, I'm not going to get into any more specifics at this point, but it's something that we're actively thinking about and, and having conversations with Will like on a weekly basis. All right. So that's what we got for um, community questions. Um, if, if you have more, ask them in Discord, and we will get to, to answering those um, as soon as, as we can. But hopefully we got through um, a bunch in this AMA, because again, it's been a while. 
Okay, so we talked a lot about Get Plucked um, today. That's what it's all about. We have launched this game and are so excited to launch this game and for, for y'all to play and give us feedback. But I'm sure y'all are also wondering what's next for Vox. So we've talked about it a little bit um, so far, um, but I'm just going to kind of like go over some specific things here. Um, we've got the Land Rush experience coming up. And like I said, you're going to see gameplay, you're going to see game development before that. But for the Land Rush experience, you're going to get a bit of a Vox backstory. Why are we here? How did we get here? Um, of course, as always, Vox holders are going to get preferential treatment um, in the, the, the Land Rush experience. Um, but everybody will be introduced to different biomes, what makes them unique, what resources are prevalent in each. Resources are going to be really important. I will say that and I will say it again. Resources are going to be really important. Um, also, um, let me figure out a way to phrase this. Uh, there are a lot of wondrous things, maybe not a lot, maybe just a few of truly wondrous things that you are going to see and going to be introduced to, um, in this land rush experience. Um, maybe even something that you've seen already. Um, but I'll leave it at that. Um, and let, um, you, you continue to speculate. Yeah. N Nighthawk, Nighthawk's not, not, not liking this, but, um, it is, it is what it is. It's been said it's, it's, it's out there now. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's the land rush. And then I kind of alluded to this a little bit before, but there it's going to be, we, we, we said that there's going to be, um, a playable experience in Voxverse and there will be immediately following, um, the, uh, land rush experience. Right. And so obviously land is going to be critical for progression in this game. Um, but also like Everyone's been been playing Odyssey and really enjoying Odyssey and gathering resources in Odyssey. So that is going to be made extremely meaningful um, with this first playable um, uh, experience. Um, so uh, keep gathering those resources in Odyssey for now. They are going to be important. Um, the resources on your land are going to be extremely important. Um, we will get into more. We will have more AMAs that are talking specifically um, about this. Um, but that's all I'm going to say for now. That's all I'm going to say for now. But another thing you might be wondering is what has Will been up to? So um, let's actually hear from Will. We are going to close with a, a Will Wright um, uh, exclusive video, and he's going to tell you what he's been um, up to lately. So because we're going to close on that, um, I just want to uh, close and, and, and say goodbye and say thank you for now. Um, I hope everyone really enjoys Get Plucked. I hope everyone... Um, yeah, has an incredible time, is able to earn the rewards over the first couple of weeks. Um, let us know your feedback. Uh, but yeah, we're really excited to be launching this game and we hope that y'all have as much fun um, playing it. Um, so thank you so much and let's go to Will to close us out. Hi, I'm All Right, game designer. I'm recording this message completely of my own free will and volition. We've been working tirelessly with the team here at Gala to refine the world of Voxverse. This includes such factors as resource distribution and refining, biomes and ecosystems, transportation, lot rarity, player crafting and construction, and of course, how chickens fit into the overall scheme of things. We're also working to uncover the long lost history of the Vox, where they come from, how they ended up in this world, and what they've discovered here so far, ancient monuments and whatnot. Also, what makes each Vox series unique in this world and how they might combine their strengths to survive and thrive here. As we begin to release land to the players, you will learn many more details about all the things that your Vox can do in this new and strange world.